This video will show the process of creating adsorption felts, or bucky papers. New felts are created using powdered single-walled carbon nanotubes. The powder, as shown here, is weighed into approximately 50 milligrams. Since the powder itself is an adsorption material, the mass shown on the scale includes impurities such as water, which will be desorbed later in an oven. Once the usable powder is weighed, the sample is added to a mixing bottle and rinsed with methanol. The methanol shown here is recycled and is reused each time a felt is made. This allows us to use less methanol overall in the process of creating the felts. Once the powder is added, the instruments and the bottle are rinsed with methanol. The bottle is marked on the side at 100 milliliter increments. This allows the appropriate amount of methanol to be added and also allows two felts worth of nanotubes to be divided equally once the mixture is prepared. Alternative to the new powder is the method of recycling old broken felts. Old felts have been added to methanol and sonicated to make a thick sludge of suspended nanotubes. In order to use the sludge, it is lightly sonicated in a water bath. After the light sonication, the thick sludge mixture is added in 30 milliliter increments in order to provide a dilute mixture of nanotubes similar to that created with using dry powder. The 30 milliliter of sludge is added to the mixing bottle and later methanol will be added, similar to the powder. In order to prepare either powder or sludge in methanol for making the felt, the 400 milliliter mixture is sonicated at high power to create a homogeneous suspension. This is done by sonicating the mixture for 50 minutes at 70% powder. The mixing bottle is placed in an insulated and cooled environment in order to reduce noise and reduce risk of overheating the mixture. Once the sonication settings and placement is set, the sonicator is lowered into the mixing bottle and the process is begun. Once sonication is complete, the filtration apparatus is assembled with a vacuum filter flask and a membrane. The membrane is smoothed over the flask. With the help of the vacuum, the membrane creates an excellent smooth surface which will produce a cleanly made felt. After the membrane is placed, the cup which will hold the nanotube suspension is clasped into place. The suspension is then removed from sonication. With the vacuum off, the cup and the membrane are wet with methanol, and then the nanotube suspension is added to the cup. The vacuum is applied, and the methanol filters from the suspension, producing the felt. After filtration, in half an hour of drying on the vacuum, the cup and the membrane are removed. The new felt is laminated onto the membrane, so the felt is carefully removed from the membrane. Once removed, the felt will be desorbed of any residual methanol before it is tested to determine its adsorption capacity.